Hey everybody, we're going to be drawing today a uh, Wonder Woman. I will be showing you my process today. So I'm going to grab my drawing pencil, my white brush pen that I really like. It's pretty janky, but I still like using it. And I'm going to be using a couple markers here. They're going to they're Copic or Coptic markers depending on who you are and how you say them. But I like them. They're dual tipped brush and chisel sided. Great for blending. Um, I'm also going to be using a micron pen or two for outlining. So let's get started. Oh, I need my eraser too. Sweet. So I have my sketchbook here. It's a crescent sketchbook. That just means it's heavy duty paper. And I'm going to draw first. Let's get started. Step one, draw basic loose shapes. Step two, rib cage and pelvis placement. Fun fact, uh, those triangles are there to represent part of your back muscle that's connected to your shoulders. I draw them so I have an idea of where to start putting my arms and my shoulders. That curve line helps me represent the spine and how I want my body to be positioned. Step three, refining body shape structure. Notice I'm making her stand on one leg more than the other. It's the illusion that she has more weight on one foot than the other. It's important to jump around your figure while you're drawing to keep more of an accurate position to the body that you're drawing. Step four, loose face placement. Not gonna lie, her face looks real rough and that's okay. Your body length should be five heads stacked on top of each other. I'm counting heads now and I noticed that I drew her a bit short and I had to lengthen her out. Step 5. Ink!
Yes, sometimes I do turn my art upside down to see if it's well balanced. And I like moving my stuff around so I can ink a lot better. It's easier to draw. Step five, erase. Erasing is probably one of my favorite parts because you get to see your drawing all cleaned up. No more janky, crazy, sketchy sketches. Rah! It does happen. I make a mistake while drawing, so I plan to problem solve. I don't like how her cheek comes out further than it's supposed to. So I plan to fix it and narrow it out just like that, and I'll just color it in later. No one will know. Well, anybody that's not watching this anyway. Step seven, coloring in three parts. Um, it, for me, coloring takes the longest. Coloring, part one, basic placement. Spirit fingers for deciding on a color. Coloring part two, shadows. Shadows make your character look more three-dimensional.
Coloring, Part 3, The Background. Step 8, Highlights and Details. My lame brush pen did not want to work, so I switched to a gel pen. I like brush pens because I can color over it to make it look like a highlight. And pretty much done. Hope you enjoyed this. Happy practicing. Can't wait to see what you guys come up with.